video we're going to look at frequency polygons and how to draw frequency polygons and how to read from frequency polygons. Uh, we're going to do this lesson by looking at a typical exam question uh, which consists of two parts. The first part is to draw one, the second part is to compare two of them. So, in a frequency polygon question you'll be given a frequency table like so. Uh, you can see this one is for the length of telephone calls made by a person and it's not 2 minutes, 2 to 4 minutes, 4 to 6 minutes, 6 to 8 minutes and 8 to 10 minutes. And you've got your frequency 25, 40, 18, 10, and 4. And we're going to draw a frequency polygon for that. Now to draw a frequency polygon, uh, frequency goes up the vertical axis, and the length of time, or in this particular question, time will go along the horizontal axis. Uh, the time will go from 0 to 10. Okay, you don't put the inequalities on, so it'll just go 0, 2, 4, 6, all the way to 10. Okay. Uh, in the exam question, they typically draw the axes for you, and here's the set of axes here. Okay, uh, let's just put the frequency table here. So, uh, as you can see, the first category uh, goes from 0 to 2 minutes and the frequency is 25. <clears throat> so you put the 25 in the midpoint of the frequency, or in the midpoint of the interval. So the midpoint of this interval, 0 to 2, the midpoint will be 1 and 25. So you go 1 across and 25 up and you put a little cross. Okay, so 1 across, 25 up. Next one, 2 to 4, well the midpoint is 3, and 40, so 3 across, 40 up. Next one, uh, 4 to 6, well midpoint is 5, and the frequency is 18, so 5 across, 18 up. Uh, next one, uh, 6 to 8, well the midpoint is 7, and 10 up, so 7 across, 10 up. And finally, 8 to, nine, or 8 to 10, so the midpoint is 9 and 4 up. So 9 across and 4 up. So we have now plotted our points. Uh, the clue in the name, frequency polygon, we're now going to join them up with straight lines. Okay, So get your ruler and get your pencil. Okay, and you're going to join them up with straight lines. Try and do this with pencil as accurately as you can, it's a bit harder to marker. And so there you go, that's the frequency polygon that's been drawn. Okay, so that's the first part of the question done, we've drawn our frequency polygon, now we're going to look at the second part of the question. So the second part of the question gives you another frequency polygon, like so, for Debbie. So we've got one for Carla and one for Debbie, the one we've drawn is for Carla, the second one's for Debbie. And we've been asked to compare these two frequency polygons. The question says, write down two comparisons between the lengths of the telephone calls made by Carla and Debbie that day. So we're going to make two comparisons. So we're going to do that now. Okay, well the first thing I notice whenever I look at these two frequency polygons is that the peak happens later for Debbie, the highest point, that's the mode, the most common one. So the most common telephone call for Debbie is five minutes, okay? Uh, or in between four to six. The most common uh, telephone call for Carla, however, was between two to four, with the peaks of three. So the most common, uh, Debbie makes more phone calls for slightly, or she makes, um, her most common phone call lasts longer than um, Carla's most common phone call. The second thing I notice is that the range for uh, Carla is larger than the range for Debbie. The, uh, Carla's phone calls go from one minute to, to nine, so that's what they go for, and Debbie's goes from one to seven. So the two things I notice from these two uh, frequency polygons is that the mode is higher for Debbie, because her peak happens at a, at a later point, and the range is bigger for Carla, or larger for Carla, because her um, telephone calls go on for longer than Debbie's ones.